so what are mammals that is your dolphin and your whale they do not have air on their body but use lungs to take in air in order to take air inside the lung animals like whale and dolphin have special blow holes at the top of their heads so in order to breathe in air to take in air inside the lung the water mammals that is your whale and dolphin have special characteristics or special blow holes at the top of their heads they come to the surface of water to breathe air through the blow holes so they come out onto the surface of the water to breathe in air through those blow holes that are present on the top of their heads next is mammals take care of their young ones mammals take care of the young ones for a longer duration they give birth to young ones feed them and provide them with the warmth of their bodies they protect the babies from predators that is your enemies and also teach them how to hunt for food they not only protect them from predators but also they teach them how to live individually or independently and how to hunt their own food some mammals carry the babies in a pouch on their bodies these animals are known as marsupials so animals that carry their babies in a pouch on their bodies are known as marsupials for example a kangaroo keeps its babies in the pouch of its body koala bear keeps its baby in its pouch for about first 6 months when the baby grows old the koala carries it on its back or the baby clings itself to the parent's body so the koala bear either keeps its baby in its pouch and once it grows a little older it carries it on its back or the baby clings on to the parent's body so this is how the mammals take care of their young ones they take care of the young one the young ones for a longer duration they give birth they feed them and protect and provide them with the warmth of their bodies they protect them from predators and also teach them how to hunt there are some mammals that carry their babies in a pouch on their bodies and those mammals are known as marsupials examples are the kangaroo that carries its baby in its pouch on its body the koala bear keeps its baby in its pouch and once the bear becomes a little older it carries it on its back or the baby clings on to the parent's body let us see the different functions that is reproduction what do you mean by reproduction so reproduction is the process by which living organisms produce young ones So reproduction is the process by which a living organism gives birth or produces young ones. That is for continuity of life. Next is incubation is when one of the parent sits on the egg to keep it warm. Incubation is a process where one of the parent sits on the egg to keep it warm. Embryo an unborn or unhatched baby that is in the process of development so embryo is an unborn or unattached unhatched baby that is in the process of development and the next is hatching the process by which the baby or the chick breaks open the shell of the egg and comes out of it so these are the different terms that we have come across that is reproduction your incubation the embryo and finally the hatching of the egg it is when the young baby breaks open the shell and comes out